Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about Word Cloud Python code on Amazon dataset. So, what is Amazon mobile dataset and how we did the data pre processing on the dataset? All these things were clearly discussed in our previous classes. So, please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of complete machine learning both mathematical and implementation coming to, to uh, this class we will discuss about word cloud so what is word cloud what's the use of word cloud we will understand after looking at the output uh, so here we are taking these packages for uh, implementing this word cloud so we will take the amazon data set and we will do the data cleaning and data pre-processing so the first five blocks of the code is about data cleaning and data pre-processing we are taking the amazon mobile data set cleaning it all these discussions were clearly made in our previous classes after data pre-processing so we converted our data into new file called amazon mobile data cleaned.csv and we have considered that uh, cleaned data file and uh, from that we are taking only 5000 records uh, and uh, we are splitting those records into uh, training data and testing data so up to here we already discussed in our previous classes so coming to word cloud so this is the coding part for word cloud what's the use of this we will understand by looking at the output so this is the output we got so what's this output Suppose if your if your data set is having the text data, so we can visualize the frequently used words in our text data. That is the use of word cloud. So we took the 5000 records and uh, we split the training data and testing data. We considered here the training data. In the training data, what are the frequently used words? That is what we visualize here. So the size of the word is big means uh, this is most frequently used. If the size of the word is small means it is less frequently used. That is what the uh, understanding of this word cloud. So what's the use of this word cloud is to display the most frequently used words. So we did it for all the uh, on all both the positive and negative data points. Uh, another use is you can select only positive points and if you generate the word cloud you will understand the words that are helping us for a positive data points means most frequently used in a positive data points and the same way if you did it for a negative data points you will understand the words that are mostly used in a negative feedbacks uh, that is the use of just the data visualization technique it will give you a quick understanding about the words that's the use of word cloud so how to generate this is a so we are taking our training data in that we have cleaned the data and uh, data preprocessed. after data preprocessing we placed it in the variable called j so we considered this variable j uh, means column j input training data and uh, in that we are taking the column j and we are taking all the feedbacks one by one so for val in input train of j taking one feedback second feedback third fe feedback uh, after that uh, that feedback is converted into string format uh, and string format is divided into split into words the words are taken into tokens so all these words are uh, considered one by one and uh, attached to a variable called comment underscore words uh, this is a list uh, this is uh, this is a string format we considered here we are adding these words to the comment underscore words so after adding this uh, data to our words to comment underscore words we are sending this to a class called word cloud this class is there in our uh, from word cloud package uh, import word cloud uh, dot uh, comma stop words okay so this is how we display this image using a uh, plt means uh, matplotlib uh, using matplotlib package we are displaying this word cloud so how to display all this code is clearly given you please explore about the code so that you will have a better understanding about uh, complete code and uh, you, this is helpful in during the interview process
that is why we are not explaining deep about this code so you please explore about each and every package all the documentation was clearly given by python so you please google in the documentation and understand the complete code this is how the output looks like it's very very simple just a few lines how to change the colors how to change the word sizes and the how to increase the this word cloud size all those things will be clearly understood if you take if you take a look at the documentation so hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you